one of the key aspects to becoming a good mouse and keyboard player is having really good decision making and making plays that to a normal person just seem out of you're Einstein, you're a genius, uh, but how do you do that and how do you practice it? Well, in the gameplay in the background, you're going to be seeing me use the Deagle and a uh, sniper rifle, the SPR. And the reason why I'm using these two weapons is because it's going to force myself to make better decisions. I'm going to have to one, hit my shots, and then I'm going to have to two, I don't have a rapid fire gun. I'm going to have to choose my targets, uh, quickly and I want to have to eliminate the greatest threat. Now I know everybody is on a different journey when it comes to their aim or they're along their journey are different than others, but this is something that everybody could do. You may not be the best quick scoper. You may not be the best, you know, you have the best aim with your deagle or, but I can tell you guys right now that this is really going to help you with your decision making. It's going to help you slow down. It's going to help you oh, I'm gonna choose this target over this target, and it's gonna help you analyze the mistakes that you are making. And over time, if you keep doing this, it's going to make you a better player. This works the same way. I suggest doing this in multiplayer, and this is going to help in Warzone too. So whether you're a multiplayer player or a Warzone player, this is going to help you become a better player. Now, the key aspect to this is you have to still run around. You have to still push tactically. You just can't sit in a corner you're going to have to die. You're going to die a lot when it comes to this. You're not going to be using the SMG or AR or LMG. You have infinite bullets that you can just spray people, but this is going to really force you to think about spawns. It's going to force you to think about your timings. It's going to force you to think about which targets to eliminate, and it's going to force you to play more tactically. It's going to make you an overall smarter player because when you die you're going to think to yourself oh why did i die there like an example right there i just died because i ran out of cover and i thought okay this guy's going to be camping here i'm going to peek this and i missed the shot so i'm just going to make sure i have cover i'm going to run in and out of cover i'm going to keep going i'm going to try to take gunfights where it favors me it's going to take a little bit of practice but trust me guys this is a really good way to become a better mouse and keyboard player it's going to help you with your decision making because we don't have aim assist to help us we have to do it all on our own let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this aim tip and how to get better guys always remember stay blessed stay humble and i'll catch you another video peace